big pipe and the electricity. Let's get ready. Buckle up, everybody. It should be a fun one tonight on the ice for EA Sports. And they've got this first period started here. And it's a quick pass to McDonald. Oh, and a great hit on play to force the turnover by Harrington. Craig's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Off the draw, they take possession. Into the offensive end now. Utah's got the puck along the wall. Break away. He scores! charge and he has a beauty goal and everyone knows it well, need no look any further than the leader on this team who buries it home I mean he has got ice in his veins and he knows the timing when his team needs something they look to him and he answers puck grab by McDonald slick feed on the attack into the offensive end right up the gut oh and a miss fires that goes right out of the zone Utah's got the puck along the boards. Oklahoma City's got possession here in the neutral zone. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Harrington. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Moves it to Kearns. And there's the save. He scores! time left here in this frame the Blues have all the momentum right now leading by two taken by Bell takes the feed and tries to make a diagonal pass to Cox turns it away on the slap shot the Blues gain possession in their own end moves it quickly over to Cox great defensive effort with the strip taken along the wall by Bell Takes control of the puck. From the point, they take control of it. And not much on that one. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. More than half the frame has been played here. The Blues are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. O'Neal's taking it from his own end. Quick pass to Lundqvist. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Oklahoma City's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the puck across to Farron. Sends the pass over. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Oh, excellent play and goal there. He's the one that you want to have the puck on your stick. He's the leader in the room. He's the leader on the ice. He just doesn't get it done this time. Just wide. And he takes the feed. Skate. He's got a step. Scores! Puts it in the back of the net and goes high on like the lamp. He likes the lamp as he buries that one, James. But he knows. He has confidence and he shows just that in that battle. Execution. That's how you do it. Armstrong's won the draw inside the neutral zone. He got all of that one. Yeah, you don't hit him. Here we go. This is where teams are made, James. When your star player gets hit, someone has to have his back. Oh, I know a lot of people love watching these, but hopefully nobody's hurt here, seriously. Yeah, that's tough to watch, especially taking that last punch. It was decisive, and he went down hard. You can see that they're still out of breath after that duo, that back and forth action, and they'll just sit for five minutes, get some much needed rest. Is fighting, it can be exhausting. Well, it looks like the officials have got all the debris off the ice, and we're back to getting some hockey going again. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. Oklahoma City's looking to break out. Gains the zone. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Takes the feed. Here's a pass and draws. The goal is under review. Everyone on the 
team recognizes that when their leader scores, it's about the intangible, the hard work, the work ethic, the drive to compete. And that sends a message right down the entire lineup. Let's get going. Whenever a call goes to video review, you have no idea which side it's going to favor. In this one, it's going to be the home team. It's a good goal. Well, they got something going here. Let's see if they can capitalize, even though things kind of settled down with that video review. Cut scooped up by Lebec. And that's picked up by Street. Denies him in close. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes, he does that and makes the save. The Blues players have certainly come with a message tonight, and that is attack the net. They have had plenty of scoring opportunities and lead here big time nearing the end of period number one. Broken up with a little physicality. Utah's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Street. And that's easily turned aside. Utah's been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net. And they lead here late in the first. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Utah's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. Set to get underway here in the second period. We'll see if they can stop the bleeding. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Oklahoma City's trailing in this game because they haven't had any urgency around the puck. They've been chasing the game and they haven't had any possession time. Here's a short pass to Corals. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves it to Harrington. Picked up along the wall by Street. Moves the puck. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Street. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Reaches out and uses the stick. Sends it over to Quarles. Retreats with the puck inside the defensive zone. Utah's got possession of the puck. Huge steal in his own end. Oklahoma City's got the puck against the boards. And he slides it quickly to Larry. Stops it with a glove! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. The Blues have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Utah's won the faceoff. Lovex got the puck in his own zone. From the right side and up the middle. Here's a shot! Oh, what a beautiful glove save! Craig's done a good job making that save, especially because it's been a quiet night for him. It's been an offensive explosion in the other end, but when you're faced with a save, you have to make it. You don't want to open the door for your opponent. Cox wins the face off in the offensive zone. Utah's got the puck in their own end. Scrum along the wall. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Utah's got the puck in the defensive end. Quick pass to Glenn. And a little physicality ends that threat. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. It's in! He scores! The Blues are firing on all cylinders tonight. Look at the scoreboard now, and there's no end in sight. We're only here late in the second. Well, I mean, it's been a wave of energy, just shift after shift, and no matter who goes out there, they find a way to cash in, get it done, maintain possession. This is a team that, you said it, they're firing on all cylinders, James. This is going to be an absolute blowout. Picked up along the boards by Street. The Blues carry it along the wall. Quick feed to Kearns. Scores! Oh, what a finish to shoot! Well, the reaction on the bench, it says it all, James. I, I mean, this is their fearless leader who provides a ton of energy to this group.
group, the timeliness of the goal, the energy that he brings, it encapsulates what he means to this team. Utah's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. With possession along the wall. Quick shot! How did he stop that one? Well, he typically scores when he gets these opportunities. He is their emotional leader. He inspires this entire group. That was a huge save for the goaltender to make. Quick feed to Colt. Dishes it to Lundqvist. Solid hit on the play. Here we go. They're dropping the gloves. You knew this was going to come after they hit their star player. Well, if you're going to touch the star players, you're going to have to answer the call. They certainly don't want their top players in a fight. So here they come, the enforcer. to watch fighting but sometimes when it's a tilt on the road and you're a winner it creates a ton of momentum well it looks as though the tensions have finally simmered and we're ready to get back to what we actually came here in the first place for hockey armstrong's won the draw here in the defensive zone handles the puck 17 minutes 40 seconds dumps it into the o zone Pass it up ahead. Utah's got it across the line. Oh, denied on the play! The Blues are checking all the boxes here tonight, Cheryl. Right, look at the score. I mean, from all facets of the game, too. Well, let's look at the offensive zone. I mean, they're getting the majority of the shots, but there's a big fat zero on their opponent's side. Why? Because their goaltender's been outstanding, and they've been in good defensive posture. Definitely seeing everything. Well, there's the horn, and that means two periods down. And there's still a critical third to play. Looking forward to this one. Third period action is coming up. The Blues have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. Game is not over yet. Let's see if they can try to rally back here in the third, but they've got a long way to go. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Blues have been fantastic through 40 minutes of play, James. They've been good on both sides of the puck. They've gotten themselves a comfortable lead. Now it's about protecting it. You still want to push when you have the puck, but you have to be in good spots to protect defensively. Utah sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Bells plugging the puck. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Takes a shot. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Oh, the bench gets such a boost when he scores. So that's such a timely stop by the goaltender. Doesn't allow any energy to be created. And that's broken up. Off the mask, kept out that way. Trying to clear the zone. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Works it across to Quarles. And he takes the dish. And that slides right out to center ice. Knocked off the puck. The Blues take possession here in the open ice. Utah's got the puck in the corner. And that's blocked from someone in front. And he makes the save. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? The best almost ready to get back on the ice. Grabbed along the board by Allen. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looks comfortable. Scooped up along the wall by Martinez. Utah's got the puck. Directed over to Hyde. Drills them. Oklahoma City's got possession at center. Here's a short pass to Hyde. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Hyde. Moves it to Cox. Here's a chance. Turns it away. 
This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Moves it quickly over to Cox. Oh, and a miss fires. That goes right out of the zone. Utah's got a hold of it along the wall. Jumps it into the opposite side. Yeah, they didn't like that. They're dropping the mitts. They have to drop the mitts. When you hit their star player, you know he's not going to fight. So who comes in? A physical guy who knows how to drop the gloves and win it. And drops the hammer on that one. Yeah, the clear winner as that final punch perfectly executed in a tough one on the other end. And after that spirited tilt, Cheryl, we know what the rule is, and these guys are done for the night. James, they're going to hit the showers and cool off those tempers that were flaring. Anytime you fight in this league, you're going to get a major, and they're getting ejected. Oklahoma City's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Came up with a nice save. And it banks off a stick in traffic. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Kearns wins the draw inside his defensive zone. Utah's got a hold of the puck now. Oklahoma City's looking to break out of their own end. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Sends a pass over. Cuts into the paint! And he makes the save with ease. And he's ridden off the puck. And he slides it quickly to Glenn. Utah's got the puck along the wall. Oklahoma City's been terrible tonight, James. There's a lackluster performance in all areas of the game, and now the bench is quiet. They know the effort that they've put in. Trying to gain a step. He's clear. Denies him on the breakaway. And that goes off a of body. Turns another aside. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. Armstrong's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And they win the draw here in their own end. Quick pass to Farron. Now a quick pass to Allen. Slides the puck ahead to Armstrong. And sends it just out of reach. And now he moves it quickly to Hyde. And that pass is intercepted. They've got a two-on-one. Incomplete pass and the rush breaks down. Oh, tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Puts it on net. Glove save and an easy one at that. Larry's going to hang on for a whistle. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Utah's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Solid body contact. There's the whistle stopping the play. It'll allow him to get off the ice and get a much-needed breather here. Key rules to the game of hockey. One of them is you have to be aware of your surroundings and have your head on a swivel. He isn't, and he takes a huge hit. Cox is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Bell's got it along the wing. The Blues have possession shorthanded. Oklahoma City's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Battle along the wall. Takes that pass back at the point. And it tears off the glove and it stays out. Hides back on the ice after serving a five-minute major for fighting, and he had an opportunity to rest and relax in the box. As sometimes fighting can take a lot out of you. He steps on the ice and gets a great scoring chance. His time is better served on the ice. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face-off. Curran's quick on the draw. Takes the pass. Utah's got possession here in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Street. 
and he takes the feed. And a quick save on that one. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Glenn's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Off the faceoff, they take the puck. Oklahoma City's got a hold of the puck. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. He scores! And does he ever! You know what's amazing, James? Every time he scores, it's like the entire bench elevates. Why? Because he is a leader on this team. He shows it on the ice and, of course, by example, off of it. Oklahoma City's fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in wherever, probably wondering, where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals, they need a pile of them if they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. There's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Here we go! You knew that they were gonna respond after he got clipped. They have to respond, James. It's the right thing to do. If your star player gets bone crushed or clipped, you have to find a way to answer and respond for him. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's gonna be the victor in this one. Not difficult to see who won that fight. The W goes the road team all the way. Looks like the emotions have settled down. They've got calm back on the ice, and let's get this puck dropped once again. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Utah's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a shot. Glup save. Levels him with the hit. The pass out front! What a chance, but that goes off target off a of body in front. Slides it diagonally to Corns. Utah's got the puck along the boards. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Oklahoma City's got the puck. Now he takes it over the line. Oh, big time hit along the wall, and this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early. Yeah, it's go time after that. First thing you're taught when you're young is to protect your goaltender. You go at the goalie, you're going to drop the gloves. Oh, I know a lot of people love watching these, but hopefully nobody's hurt here, seriously. Yeah, that's tough to watch, especially taking that last punch. It was decisive, and he went down hard. The Blues have gained some momentum from that fight. It's all them as they win that one. Currents and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Made that stop, and does it again! Tries to get it out of harm's way. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. Receives the pass, and, he, and his goaltender's not gonna like that one as he scores, putting it into his own net. The Blues have had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they have capitalized and look at the score as a result. Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. This is a dominating performance tonight, Cheryl. I, like, they came to play, they skated, they put pucks on net, they kind of checked all the boxes here. They did, and the speed through the neutral zone was something that I really noticed. They were able to gain entry off of the rush, and that speed drove the play and got pucks to the net. Well, hope to see you down the road real soon as we say 